Alright, hello guys, welcome back to the prop. Today I have a cool build for you guys. So basically what I'm gonna teach you guys today is how to make a Power Rangers Morpher. So I have this template. You guys can go in the link in the description below and you guys can download this um, template. So basically this is gonna be my template and we're gonna transfer it to um, cardstock and then fold it, paper mache it, and I'm gonna do this full build for you guys. So let's get right into the build. Okay, so first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is download this template and print it, and then we are gonna go with a scissor and cut this up. So let's do that right now. When you guys are cutting this, make sure to cut on the lines, and don't worry about um, all this you guys can like scratch it if you want because we're not going to be using this as like the color and all that this is just going to be the template Alright, so I finished cutting it out. Now, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to fold here and so we can kind of give a little idea of what it's going to look like. So, um, I'm going to do that real quick and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so once you guys have cut this out, um, do you guys see all these lines? We're going to have to draw them on here so we can fold on those lines the same way we did on here. So it all folds together and then, um, yeah, so we're going to do that right now. So you guys can watch me do that. I'll do a little time lapse of that. Okay, so now that I've done this, all I have to do is fold all the edges and then we'll glue it together and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so, a little blurry. Okay, but basically what I did was I glued all the edges together. So, basically, let me see if I can give you guys an example of what I did. Basically, I just put glue on each of these edges and then I folded them and held them down for a little while and then let them dry. Next one, and then just kept doing it until I got every edge and then this part will fold and go on top to complete it and make the bottom shape of the morpher. So that's how it's going to go right there. Pretty cool. 
So basically, I'll show you guys the cap. So I'm gonna do is glue the cap down. So let's do that. You guys can see, once this is all folded, it just folds to, you know, to make, make this shape technically, once it's all folded. So we have turned it from paper to cardstock, so it's much harder now. So that's much cooler, much more sturdy. So I'm going to add a few more bits of hot glue, just to kind of secure it. Alright guys, so I just finished uh, gluing all the edges. Now this handle is kind of optional. You don't, you guys don't really have to make the handle. All I'm going to teach you guys is how to make the morpher, but if you guys want a handle like this one, this is basically all I did. I took, um, I took the template from, from, uh, what do you call it? From the, the template that I gave you guys. I took the handle template right here and I transferred it to cardstock so basically uh, this whole shape I transferred it to cardstock as you guys can see and then I kind of curved it to the the shape I wanted and then I added side panels to that and uh, then I glued a box but you guys don't need to do this if you don't want to I just did it because it gives you a little more leverage so basically now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out um, the shapes, all these shapes, and then uh, we're going to transfer them to uh, some thicker cardboard. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm going to cut this out and then I'll be back with you guys once I'm done cutting it out. Alright, so I finished both parts, so as you guys can see here, this is the top panel and the bottom panel, so basically this is how they're going to go. So here's this, so they're going to go top and bottom, so basically, uh, this is so hard to do, and uh, basically um, you're going to have one on the top and one on the bottom, and in the middle, guys. We're going to use this, you guys are going to use this template for the coin, which I will show you guys how to make. And, uh, yeah. So, we're going to do that real quick, and I'll get back to you once I've glued these two panels on, and I'll show you a bit about it. Alright guys, so next step in the process of the morpher is a, a ring. So, a power coin, like this one. So this one is the Tyrannosaurus um, power coin. So I've already baked this one. So this one is baked. These two I have not baked. This is the Mastodon uh, power coin. So I have to bake that one. But this is the final one that I'm going to teach you guys how to make. So I'm going to sculpt this one for you guys. So I'm going to get the camera into position. And I'll show you guys how to sculpt this one. And by the way, all these coins are going to fit onto the morpher just like right there once we attach the velcro to here and here so we can just attach all the different coins for uh, the morpher so i'll film me sculpting this empty coin for you guys and uh yeah Alright, so I finished all the coins. This one doesn't look dry, but it is. It's just, I don't know what happened with the color. But this is Mastodon. I can't remember the name of this. And then this is Tyrannosaurus. 
Alright guys, so it's finally time to start paper macheing this uh, morpher. So, I already cut out my strips of paper and I have my flour uh, paper mache uh, material here. So this is just water and flour and mixed together and uh, then I just apply the paper into it and then apply it onto my object. So I'm going to do that right now. 